Mark Cody. I work at Specialized Bikes as an aerodynamicist, working on a new development for a time trial helmet. The best time trial helmets are actually more aerodynamic than a bald head. At the speeds the Tour de France guys are going, this is 30, 40 watts. We're talking 10% of the total power the riders are putting out is being saved from these kind of helmets. So they're huge savings. The overall idea is to take what we found to be the best aerodynamics of all helmets we've tested over years and years and years in the TT3 and make that even better due to different head positions, different rider styles, those kind of things. Basically, how arrow can we make bowling ball that's sitting on top of your neck? This has been a project in partnership with McLaren, and they're experts at computational work. Of course, they make the fastest cars in F1, and, but the cool thing on this project, whatever we're developing and testing in the wind tunnel, they're also working on in computational fluid dynamics. Computational fluid dynamics is a process that lets us go from CAD to having an aerodynamic prediction within hours of coming up with a conceptual design. Whereas when we go to the wind tunnel, we've got to analyze the results and that process could take days, weeks or months. With the vents that we have on the TT4, we actually doing something different to what's been done previously. So one of the cool technologies they brought in here, there's these gills that we built into the side of the airfoil shapes, and it's actually giving active venting. The dirty air is used for cooling, so we get rid of the dirty air, and that enables the high quality air to stay attached as it flows around the helmet, which keeps the drag of the rider low. So very few products um, have the McLaren branding. You know, to have the any product that has the McLaren name on it has to have that intrinsically in the design. It has to have you know, the McLaren kind of DNA inside it. With Specialized, the vision was really complementary. Um, I think it's been really, really useful from both sides to be able to correlate CFD and wind tunnel very, very accurately. Uh, now we have that valid tool. That gives us a chance to, to do some exciting new things. To be able to take the tools that we use in the Formula One industry and apply them to cycling was a fantastic opportunity. It's pretty cool to feel like we're getting to such an optimal design to really benefit the riders. The aerodynamics of the TT4 is the most advanced of anything we've seen so far, and it's just the starting point. Yeah.